Hello everybody and welcome or welcome back on this channel. My name is Lilith and today we're playing some more Control. Yes, I'm recording this the same day as the previous episode. And yes, I decided to do the parapsychology side quest. Because it's about like finding people. So I just took a little bit of a break. Um, I got invaded by the cat, which is currently on my lap. And uh, request a lot of attention. Because, you know, he's a cat, so... You must pet the cat all the time, but he's being absolutely adorable right now, which is probably going to change in a minute when he starts biting my cables and, and hand and whichever, but uh, I'm going to try to... Oosh, sorry, baby. I'm going to try to deal with it. Oh, yeah. Doesn't like... Pick the controller. Doesn't like it. He's like, you just, just take care of me now. If you don't know him... Yep. This... This is Loki. Oh, what the fuck is going on? This is Loki, my baby. Hmm? He's nine years old and he's a little monster, basically. Yeah, he carries his name well. Don't don't bite the microphone. Okay, that's not gonna be working. You chill. Yeah, there you go. Perfect. Excellent. Good boy. Okay, so research personal protection so am i don't buy this please okay am i supposed to locate people am i even going in the right direction not at all excuse me gentlemen um this is not what i needed to be okay oh cat's gone okay just are they gonna come and bite me in the ass? There we go, okay. Um, psychology is straight ahead. Uh, am I not where I'm supposed to be? I mean, secure the area. Protect remaining agents. Yes! We're gonna try to save people for once. Where is it? Where is the other one? You better not die. You better not die, people. I'm gonna be so mad if they die. Oops. No, you just take cover. Where the fuck is the rest of. Oh shit, I saw one here. Oh. No, you don't. You little bitch. That thing is strong. Well, yeah, I know you are here. You can eat shit. Oh no. Get back here. You don't touch my people. trouble. Oops. Shit. Got away. Where are you going? Who are they shooting at? Don't, don't kill my men. I swear. Oh no. Oh no. That's bad. I shoot him in the ass. Oops. You okay? You did I not? Okay. 
Just stay back! Jesus! Stay back! You idiot! Oh shit. Again? Like, how did you manage to put yourself in so much trouble? Oh shit, this is bad. Oh, this is really bad. I'm the one who's gonna die. Are we, are we cool? Are you guys okay? Oh, little bitch. Where is it? Jesus, you're almost dead. Are you okay? God damn it. Is there an end to it? Like seriously. Oh, you got to be fucking kidding me! No! 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 Is there an end to this shit? Seriously. Because, I mean, they're all gonna die eventually. They just keep coming. I don't know why I shot, but not him. Okay, is there... Oh yeah, you're alive. <sighs> we saved one, guys. Okay, totally worth it. We saved one. I finally managed to save someone. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. It's better than nothing. Okay. I'm fine with it. Alright, so now... Let's uh, have a look. I think we're gonna go and uh, do the main mission. That one I'll do on my own. Yes, face of the enemy. Go back to finding... Oh, I have abilities. I'm gonna take more energy. Yeah. Um... Nope. Uh, okay. Wait. What's all this? There is a whole sector we haven't been to yet. It's gotta be the place where I can't access. I just can't go there right now. Okay. Uh, here. Let's go back to the uh, slide projector thingy. Mm, ordinary. This way. The ordinary AWE stage 1B dump. Witness testimonies. The second slice we call the meadow, but it was really just an empty lot with a bunch of wheat. There was a shack and a phone line. It smelled like flowers there. It was powerful, intoxicating. We had crazy dreams there. It must have been because of the smell. I didn't like it. Didn't like losing control. In the dreams, everything was melting, and then when we'd come out, everything had melted around the projector. That's Jesse. Neil was really into it. We found out he'd been coming there more and more on his own. Then Tom beat the secret out of Neil and found the projector. He and his goon took it. We thought Neil had got lost inside the meadow. Then Tom changed the slide, but that's not what happened. Unconfirmed existence of additional slide designation, Meadow. 
So they had this projector for quite some time and just played with it. Going to a whole bunch of places. Let's see what they have on ordinary. Oh, open sesame. It's all here. Wow. Our home, our school, the woods, the dump. It's actually kind of cool. Stage four. Is that my house? Stage three. Sorry, didn't mean to break it. And that's where they found it, I'm guessing. X marks the spot. Stage one. Okay. Oh shit. Here, have that tree. Whoa. Fuck off. You big weirdo. We found the slide projector in the dump outside town. Did they recreate that too? Is that where they keep it? Uh, oh, it's just a level one. Um. Okay. Maybe. I mean, it's gotta be somewhere. Just look around. Listen to this. A poem last time we talked. By Thomas Zane. Oh, is it my interviews? Yeah. Beyond the shadow we settle for, there's a miracle illuminated. Hmm. I looked the poem up. Only I couldn't find any poet by that name. I did find a European filmmaker who moved here in the 60s, named Thomas Zane. What? I don't know matter. It suits you very well, the poem. How you see things. Maybe you wrote it yourself. I didn't. No matter. You've said a few times that you feel like there's a piece of you missing. Can we talk about that? Okay. Yeah, um, it's this. I feel an emptiness, a yearning for something that I think I lost. It's natural for you to feel that way. Your brother and your parents are dead. No. No. Billy's not dead. <laughs> and that's not even it. You're referring to the imaginary friend from your childhood? Pilatus. She's come back. After a long time, she's calling me. In a dream I saw, she... She showed me things. Jesse, it felt more real than anything. As real as what happened in Ordinary. The industrial accident in your hometown that you believe Polaris caused. No, it wasn't an accident. There was no industrial accident, and Polaris didn't cause it. She saved me and Dylan. Just saying. No! <sighs> it was a cover-up. The government knows about it. There were agents there. Yeah, they were. Agents from... I don't know. They're a bureau of control. Dylan, they... I'll find them. I won't stop looking. Polaris wants me to go to New York. There's a building there. I have to leave soon. I have to be there at a very specific time. Something... Something hugely important is going to happen. Huh. Jesse, you know we can't let you go until you're well. And that oh. By understanding what's real and what's imagined. So she was in a in an institution. I mean, I understand. This is not a good psychiatrist, by the way. But I understand that 
she she thinks that all this is like completely bullshit. It's just in our mind and everything. It must be super hard because we know it's real. <laughs> Ordinary supplement. Details are largely based on interviews conducted with Dylan Faden and the obtained therapy session of Jesse Faden, as well as circumstantial evidence found at the ordinary site. Note that accounts provided by all three sources contain conflicting data. Example, Dylan claims there were eight slides for the projector. Jesse mentioned nine slides. The bureau found one intact slide, designation 36, and the burnt remain of six others. Unfortunately, this slide are too badly damaged to be used in the projector. Jesse Faden is believed to be the individual responsible for burning the slides. Note, Dr. Darling has ordered that the entirety of the ordinary town dump be brought to the Bureau for examination and analysis, with the hopes of finding additional slides or other altered materials. Oops. Due to the limited space in the investigation sector, this AWE will be investigated in the containment sector. So yeah, they had a whole... Sorry again. It's nothing. They had a whole sector just to study this particular event. I mean, it was a pretty huge one, so I get it. Turntable, transit corridor, dump site. I'm guessing we want to go to the dump site. What are you listening at? Okay, here we go. The whole landfill here in the middle of the yeah. park. <gasps> Nobody saw a thing. Nobody cared. That's unbelievable. They just didn't care. Dump cessation of work order. Whoops. What did I do? Uh, is that not? No, I don't think it's. God damn it! That's. I don't even know where it is. No, that's Urban Legends. Um, oops. Case files. No. Duh, there we go. By order of Dr. Darling, all work in the ordinary dump is to top, stop effective immediately. Resources will be allocated to the blank department. Detail will be forthcoming. This area will be sealed at the end of the month. Please remove all personal life before that time. Any photographic slides, the type used in the slide projector found in the area, should be delivered to Dr. Darling immediately. So they search everything and then they just lock the whole thing up. Ew. Gross. Let's go up. More files. Globe supplement. Globe. The item was found in the penthouse suit at blank, Toronto, belonging to David Wolf, who was being investigated for illegally dealing in altered materials. Oh. Bureau agent raided his penthouse and found numerous supernatural belongings, including blank, blank, and this item. Mr. Wolf was arrested. So why supplementary material? So why would a 36-year-old Bay Street investment trader, filthy rich, married to a model, disappear overnight? That's a question that kept Toronto's high society up at night this past week. Police say it's been looked into. Some not top radio show as the state claimed he disappeared to draw the Illuminati. The Illuminati. But it's this reporter's opinion that Mr. Wolf, bored of his job, sick of his family, left it all behind to retire in some remote beach paradise. Now he's sipping my ties with while the world thinks he's dead. I don't think that's the case, actually. Been dealing in some pretty dangerous shit. Probably got eaten by his toaster or something. Oh, hi. What's up, boys? Ah, I missed. Oh. 
You little bitch. Yeah. Have the bike. Damn it. Are you not doing anything? Get a tire. Fuck you. Oh. Yeah, gotta escape twice. I hear that one. Whoops! Yeah, bitches. <gasps> Token! Baby. Yeah, that's kind of shitty. Okay, I need to check my mods. You can go, you can go, you can go. I'm just gonna get rid of everything that is not at least level 4. There we go. Ah, uh, same for the guns. If it's not installed, then it's not something I really want or need. Because I checked all my guns recently. Now, they just seem to give me really crappy parts. Right now, so... I don't know. Side quests give me much better stuff. Good to the lock. Hello. Hmm. Let's check this. Hey, darling. What's wrong? Effective immediately. I'm setting up a new department. Dimensional research in the research sector. Huh? Transferring the slide projector there. That's where my focus will be now. The ordinary site remains as is. We'll be back to. What did he find out? I don't know what. He's panicked. He found Don't something. Took the projector to the research sector. He dedicated a whole area to it, so he knew it was important. Yeah, he knew, obviously. That's where we go next. Uh oh. He looked really scared. Neighbor is done for the for ten seconds and then start again. Gotta love having neighbors, right? I mean, this is not exactly a good place to play when you're a kid. I mean, I did it too. <laughs> to be honest, I used to play. It the God fucking damn it! Can he not? Okay, hopefully the neighbor will remain quiet for more than five seconds. And I want to check if I can go there right now. Like turntable, but I don't know if I can open this. Maybe here? Yeah. Okay. So, and then if I cross it. Oh. Oh, 
What's this? What, is that the thing we turned around last time? I'm very really sorry, guys. We just have to go with it. So I don't think I can get I don't think I can get this shit open right now apparently. So It's like right next to my left ear there is a wall and I think they are making holes in that wall. So yeah, great. Okay, apparently you can't reach that, so we're just gonna I don't know, wait and see. Gotta go to research. Need to find. Um, I need to find my way back. That's what I need. Need to find a travel point. Should be one over there. Shit. <laughs> um. Wait. How did I get down there? I don't remember how I ended up here. Wait, we took the elevator, right? Yeah. Oop. Then we go up, and there should be one right over there. Or is it down here? No, it should be up there. Oh. Quick! Oh boy, we've got company. Who wants more? Oops. The fuck? Oh, you're one of these. Get your ass here. You little bitch! Shit. 
Come here. Mm. Oh, whoa. Not cool. No, major targets. Uh, not now. Uh, yeah, I think that's where I'm supposed to go. I just want to do the main story right now. Oh yeah, we're back here. Okay. So... Wait, no? Yeah, that's where we... Okay. That's here. Yeah. Found it, finally. Uh, I've got abilities. So I'm gonna go with more energy again. Maybe I should. Yeah. Let's go with that for now. Then. I mean, launch is good as it is. I don't mind not launching enemies. Alright. Let's go to research. Ah, oh, now we go there. I think that's the closest one. Central research. Okay. So from here, we need to reach that long corridor. Are you a baddie? Yes, you are. I missed. Oh, you're a buddy. You're a real big buddy. Shit. Stay away. Well, I got lucky. Oh, what the fuck? That's a lot of people. Shit. I hate these ones. They're a real pain in the ass. Here. There you go. Oh. I think that's actually where I'm supposed to be going. Good. <laughs> Isn't it? Yeah. I'm sorry. It's me, the boss. <laughs> Chill. I'm allowed in here. I'm allowed everywhere. Awfully changing labyrinth. Can never pass through. Dimensional research. Every measure of security. Okay. So it's like super tight security to get in there. They were really terrified of that thing. Is that the maze? Okay. How many dead ends can this place have? Let's find out. Yes, my man Arty. Missed him. Arty, you in there? Oh. Okay, now we have a way. Oh, well, no, my bad. I'm very sorry, guys. There is absolutely nothing I can do. It's lunchtime, by the way, so I don't know. My neighbor always picks the sh shittiest time to do this kind of shit. Um, 
I don't really know where I'm going, but... I mean, it's pretty straightforward. I'm running in a circle, am I not? Ati. Do I need to do something different? Where is the janitor? What is that table doing up there? Yeah. I mean... Artie! I did not realize I didn't mention that he was at, at his office, basically. My bad. Uh, nope. Wrong turn again. Um, no Artie. No Artie. Where is he? Doing stuff? Oh! Talk to the plants. <laughs> okay, I'll do it. No problem. What's that one? Clear the mold. Okay, we picked up a whole bunch of uh, missions here. So probably things I'm gonna do just on my own. Talk to the plants. In central research. Clear the mold. In the medical wing. Clear the clog again. Even more mold. Oh. Okay. I'll do it. I'll do it. Now this boy left, said the son of Anniki Tahti. My assistant will keep work in the club and the house standing. Lomille lumps, holiday humps. How can anyone even get out of here while the building's sealed? Yeah, it's not exactly. Guess I'm about to find out. Not just anyone. Um, hello? Oh. Hi? Are you a baddie? He's got friends! Oh, he's got very big friends. Oh, he's smarter than I thought. He's very relaxed through all this. Where do you want me to go? Oh, over there? No! Okay. That was a close one. Where are you taking me? No, oh, no, this is just a radio. No. Shut up. Furnace complaint. 
The furnace. Why aren't we allowed to burn outdated paperwork in it? Seems like a waste of perfectly good fire. I'm just trying to save you a few bucks and a lot of sweat. Usually people in the suits appreciate that, right? What is the furnace even heating? And who's in charge of it anyway? It's all been lit, but I never see anyone tending to it. And the noise it makes. Isn't it a little, I don't know, off? I mean, I can't be the only one who hears that weird whizzing or whatever it is. Someone should take a look at the thing. Might be time for a replacement. I don't think you want to do that. It might eat your head off. It's probably not just a furnace. Also, we fed it just radioactive shit. What the fuck? Mold's gotten in here too? Oh. Alright. Mold people, mold people. Yeah. Ouch. Gotta keep moving, gotta keep moving. Can't stop. got them. I kind of really want that life now. Uh, down. They hit hard, man. Like, really hard. Mold snipers. Okay. Am I supposed to get in there? One, two, three. Again, I'm nowhere. <laughs> Oh shit. Wait. I can't do anything, I don't have my gun. Gotta do what you gotta do. There was a noise. Some old uh, clock gone. Thanks. What? 
Did I not pick the key? Yeah. Um, okay. I guess not. Should I just... Turn everything off again. I really think I picked the key, but wait. No. Oh, janitor's office. Of course, silly me. Oh, shit. Where am I this time? There's a black rock quarry. Yeah. Yay. We back. Okay. Albany summary. A response team was dispatched to a possible AWE in progress at Blank Albany. At the scene, the team encountered and retrieved AI-63. The Bureau had discovered numerous online message boards regarding loud noises coming from an abandoned shipping warehouse belonging to the Blank Corporation. Local law enforcement had discovered numerous bodies in various state of mutilation in the vicinity. This, along with the noises, were considered to be evidence of a werewolf due to the fact that they only occurred on the last three full moons. Field agent accompanied by a squad of ranger trainees to the site as a form of field training. The likelihood of a genuine OWE was considered low. Despite this evaluation, the team encountered a highly volatile altered item, which they successfully retrieved. That's the thing, um... Arish was talking about that uh, he was sent to. Here. Are you on holiday in the Black Rock Quarry? Oh, I need to go there actually. Well, doing here fuck off this is my playground little bitch rude I'm just trying to find a janitor here hearty you down there Oh boy. Let's try not to die. That would be great. Arty. What are you up to this time? Like seriously. Oh shit. Sorry, didn't see that one coming. <laughs> oh, 
Albany supplement. Upon arrival, the squad broke into the warehouse and discovered boxes of undelivered merchandise abandoned by the previous owner of the warehouse. As they investigated the noise, blank along the south side of the building caused it to collapse inward. Wooden crates in accelerated physical blank from blank rendered field agent blank and two of the trainees unconscious. The others escaped the warehouse before it collapsed entirely. In the rubble, they found AI-63 at the origin of the blank, attracting and repelling debris. They stood guard around the item until the moon set at which one the altered effect ceased. They returned the item to the bureau without further incident. No fatalities occurred. The collapse of the warehouse was not witnessed by civilians and thus is no reinforming by the communication department was required. Hmm. Well, a pretty shitty mission. I don't know. I see a button. I press the button. Oh no. You fucking die. Shit. Yeah. You too. Oh boy, that's a lot of people. Stop running! Why did I tell- Oh! I did- I did tell him not to run. Boop -boop -boop. Um, where is that damn janitor gone? More of them? More of them. I don't like being below them. Oh no, is that one I need to fucking... No, actually that one too. God damn it. Where are you? There we go. He's just singing. Do I need to board that thing? Not really trusted though. This is pretty awesome. <laughs> Look at the place. Oh, in the like. Below, I mean, we are nowhere apparently, but below the house. I'm gonna keep quiet here. I'm not gonna run around, I'm afraid I'm gonna fall. At least we have music. It's definitely his music. Come on. Come on. Oh, this is so nice. I just love the places like this. Just so alien, you know? And different. They did an amazing job with that game. It's so cool. Oh, 
And it's very unique. And new, so that's awesome. There's something up ahead. Do you see it? What was it? That was a vision. We've gone to the beach. Plastic tree! My friend. The results are incredible, but more so the speed of discovery this allow us. AI... Oh, AL. I don't know. 14 copies are a speech, but after numerous tests, we've discovered that certain words are missing from its vocabulary. We began isolating these words, cross-referencing them with esoteric texts from the early days of the Bureau. We find that these words, when arranged in particular formations and spoken at varying speed and cadences, elicit a reaction from altered materials. We tested this specific string of word, a formula, if you will, on the other altered item kept in the examination hall. Varying physical responses were recorded with each one, with an 82% success rate. We've proven that words can tangibly affect these items. Specific application must be explored, possibly for containment or identification purposes. This will drastically change our approach moving forward, and to think there are still more words to be found. Someone's excited. I mean, this place, obviously there's been people here, so... Europe's have explored this part at some point. Are you having a beer? He's having the time of his life. <laughs> yeah? Oh, it's Finnish? So... Is it Finnish he's speaking, I'm guessing? Adi? Me too, holidays, holy. Did you miss me? Hell yeah. I can love you. In your Not quite. Yes. <laughs> no, 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 no. Park don't make a moon. You did good. Thanks. Take my cassette player. You can borrow it. The song is a present from my friends to you. It will get you through the maze so you can do your job. Awesome. Perfect, that's exactly what I needed. Did that really just happen? Don't. Of course it did, he gave me his cassette player. That's why I finished Tango. Get me through the maze, huh? The janitor always has the keys. Yeah. Okay, cool. Unmapped area, yeah, you bet. Very cool. Okay, so... Let's get more... Energy. Oh, I need four. Okay, my bad. Um, I'm probably gonna leave this episode here, guys. Just, uh... Because I'm hungry, actually. I did tell you it's lunchtime. Astro maze. Maybe we should just go through that maze and see what's on the other side, because it got me really curious now. And, uh... So we'll do that. We're gonna do that. We'll go through the maze, and then we end the episode. Okay, here we go again. Put the cassette player on. How do I? There we go. Hell yeah! Now we're talking. Who wants some? Awesome. Whee! 
This is so cool. Oh, holy shit, I'm on the walls. ceiling now. God damn it. This is so cool. Come on. You gotta fucking love that game. You keep them for me. Boom. Hello, have a chair. More views? No. Fucking love this. Feelings, okay? Very rude. Yeah. Yeah. Woo! Gladly. Oops. Didn't take care of that dude over here. is very corrupted. Oh, that one is here. Fuck off. Whew. Okay. Sure. Squeak, squeak. Oh yeah, squeak, squeak. See some flying bitches! Gotta be careful with them flying bitches. Fucking love that music. Oh, can I reach it? Well, not right now. Here, have a lamp. It will brighten your days. And nights. Fuck off. Fuck off. Nope, wrong gun. No. 
to greed. Say no to greed, people. Oh, oh, this is the end. <sighs> well, that was awesome. Agreed. <laughs> that was awesome. Projector. Yeah. Okay, now I'm super curious. Oh, I need to stop the episode here, though. I don't even know where I am anymore. Um, dimensional research. What did I pick up? Janitor complain? Don't complain about the janitor. Has anyone else seen that janitor mopping up around here? Isn't this a restricted access area? Who gave him permission to come in here? And how the fuck did he get through the maze? That's because he's not a janitor, you dumbass. Oops. Yeah, you want me here. Finding the projector was how this all began. What started in ordinary ends here. You, me, Dylan. We've all come full circle. Okay, cool. Interesting. Okay. Guys, let's hit this. <sighs> That's it. That's it. End of the episode. Okay, there's a whole thing and... This is Astro Maze. <laughs> this was so cool. <laughs> I fucking loved it. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna leave this episode he oops, here. I'm probably gonna try to... This, this sounds gonna be leading us toward the end, so I'm probably going to try to finish the, um, the mission uh, Artie gave me before I keep playing and uh, next time we'll just move forward and uh, explore this place, it's covered in red sand for some reason but that was amazing, you gotta love that game, I had such a great time anyway, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you very soon in the next episode bye for now! This is It's the ordinary story. She worked an ordinary job in an ordinary office. She was living something, something.